Hi guys, so today I'm here for you with a huge candle and beauty haul. I stopped by Bath and Body Works the other day and they were having a huge, huge sale. All the candles were $9 each. However, it only lasted for I think like less than 24 hours. So if you didn't see the email that day, you pretty much didn't get to take part of the deal. So I picked up a ton of stuff. However, all the stuff that I'm gonna show you here today, if you weren't able to pick up during the sale, they will have another sale going on in a couple weeks. It won't be as good of a deal. Um, instead of being $9 each, the candles will be two for 22. So you can definitely pick them up for at least half price, which is still a really good deal. I also stopped by Bed Bath & Beyond, which apparently now has a huge beauty section, which I had no idea about. I used to work there when I was a teenager and we never had such an awesome selection of beauty products. When I went in there the other day, it was like eight aisles of like pure, magic it was so awesome and also i was actually kind of looking at all the products that they have and they seem to get a lot of the newest lines before any of the other stores here do so that was super awesome and then after i stopped by there i went to ulta and picked up one thing so we'll go ahead and start with the candles and then jump right into the beauty stuff okay so first from bath and body works i got this huge huge bag it is seriously ginormous Ooh, and there's stuff falling out of it i picked up i think probably eight candles um, so let's start with the first one, which is my favorite, and this is called Endless Weekend, and it looks like this. It's really pretty. Let me see if I'm holding that the right way. Um, this one is a blend of fresh summer mandarin, sun-kissed magnolia, and blue coconut water. It smells like the perfect like beach day. It sounds like, ugh, oh, it's just, I love it. I seriously bought one of these like a couple weeks ago for full price because I just had to have it, and now I picked up three more because I love it so, so much. Like I burn it all the time. I burn it at home and in my office as well. So that should tell you how much I like it. And one of the reasons I actually love this new line is because they're in like almost like a beach glass type texture. They do not come with lids like the original Bath & Body Works candle three wicks do. But um, I really love the texture of these. They're really smooth and they're really unique. So I got three of those. There's that one and then that one. Yes, I am obsessed with this scent. <laughs> and then I also picked up another one from this line called Turquoise Waters, which looks like this. It smells very like, I wanna say like seashells and a little bit florally. Um, it says it is a mixture of sea spray, sunlight, and beach grass. Now I didn't know that grass grew on beaches, but apparently according to this candle, it does. It smells really light. Um, it almost reminds me of like a sea breeze scented like fabric softener if that makes sense you definitely have to check it out to understand it but it's an awesome color i love this one too it's like almost like a darker version color of the endless weekend one just like a slightly darker shade so i love that one and then i also picked up a green one which is in the scent palm leaves and it looks like this again super cute and this one is palm tree dotted beaches and bright sunny days are in this blend of green palm aloe and agave i love the way aloe and agave smell especially when they're mixed together so this one is just very, um, very botanical smelling, if that makes sense. Um, and this one actually has little flecks of white in the beach glass. It's hard to see on camera, but it's really, really, really pretty. Really, really pretty? Blah. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. Um, and these ones just kind of pop off like this. Like I said, they do not have lids, but they do come with these cute little covers. And then also from this line, I picked up two more. I got Sunset Beach, which looks like this. And I picked up this one, which is the Sunset Beach, the sweet fragrance of easygoing days at the beach filled with fruit pop, sugar cane, and sun rays. This one's definitely like a sweeter. Um, it does definitely smells like almost like sweet popsicles. A um, little bit more sugary than the other ones smell, but still really light. I find that some of the Bath & Body Works candles scents can be like super overwhelming to me, but these are all really nice and light which I love. They smell so, so good. And this one's just in like a clear, like frosted white jar. And then the last one that I picked up from this line is called Coastal Sun. And it looks like this. It's really pretty yellow color. And the front looks like that. Again, no lids on these. Um, and this one is a catch some beautiful rays with this blend of vibrant orange, zesty grapefruit and bright California day. So this one's super citrusy. Definitely, definitely probably one of my second favorites. Obviously the first one is the Endless Weekend. But this one, I love citrus scents. I prefer more um, fruity citrus than I do floral, which is why a lot of these are more fruit-based than they all are flower-based. And then the last huge candle I picked up was this one, and it was called Saltwater Taffy. Someone told me that this is almost um, similar to the Illuminations, if you remember that brand. They were only around um, like a couple years ago, and they got bought out by Yankee. But they had one called Snow Cone, and everyone went nuts over it. And you can't buy it anymore, but this one is very, very similar to the Snow Cone. This one is a mix of fluffy vanilla, um, fresh strawberries and cherries and it just smells like uh, I don't know how to describe it there's nothing else like it I mean it's definitely not just saltwater taffy obviously because saltwater taffy comes in so many different flavors but it just smells 
Oh, you just have to experience it for yourself. It smells like the perfect day at like the boardwalk. It's awesome. So the last three that I picked up are these Pink Petal Tea Cake Minis, and they are so cute. They come in a little package like this, and these ones actually do come with lids. These are the last three that they had left. I really wanted the full size, but they were totally sold out. It is called Pink Petal Tea Cake, and it smells, it's a really light floral scent mixed with like a little bit of like a macaroon or a tea cake almost. It smells really refreshing. It's very, um, sweet but not too sweet it's just it's a perfect candle i love it so i'm definitely going to stock online to see if the full size does come back because i will buy like five of them because i'm just nuts like that next i went to bed bath and beyond the first thing i picked up is the maybelline dream wonder fluid touch foundation this is a new release and it just came out i want to say probably within the last week i believe because i heard that this wasn't going to be released until july it's a really fun new formula and it has this really unique little dropper thing in it. Let me see if I can show you without getting it all over myself, but it looks like this. It's a really funky kind of little wand. And they, the one that I saw, the display only had like probably eight colors in it, maybe 10. Um, so I'm hoping that they do have a little bit more of a range in the permanent line, but so far from what I've seen, just kind of playing with it on the back of my hand, I really love the formulation of this. So I'm super excited to actually try it on my face. And then also from L'Oreal, I picked up the Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream and the Anti-Redness Formula. I have very fair skin, so when I get a pimple or any type of blemish or imperfection, it instantly turns red and it's super noticeable on my face. Um, so I went ahead and picked this up, and it actually comes out a green color, which if you didn't know, green counteracts red on your face. It's a little bit of a runnier formula, and it has these little like brown flecks in it almost. Um, However, what happens is these brown flecks are actually your color simulators, so when you rub them into your skin, they actually start to turn the color of your actual skin and blend in so beautifully. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to try this on my face. It's so, so nice. I'm actually I'm gonna go back and pick up, they have another formula of this in a anti-fatigue one, which I think is more brightening. So I'm gonna try that as well. And then I'm obsessed with baby lips, in case you can't tell, I have like, whole little stack of them back there in that situation. So I picked up three of the new ones from the Baby Lips Crystal Collection, and they're really cute. They just have um, little glitter flecks in them. This one is in the color Crystal Kiss, and this is number 130. And they're all really sheer. They're not super pigmented, which they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be more like a chapstick. It's, you really can't even tell it's on my hand right there. That's Crystal Kiss. And then I also picked up, uh, let's see, mirrored mauve which is color number 150 and this one definitely looks a lot darker when you put it on the skin it's again not super pigmented just a little bit of a tint like that that's mauve kiss and then also i grabbed um let's see which one's this this is twinkling taupe which the first ever baby lips i fell in love with was called twinkle i think but that one's clear this one is more of a tan color and it, this one's actually probably the second most pigmented one that i've gotten and again, this is Twinkling Toe, but it looks like that. They're all really pretty. They're really refreshing. Like I said, I love baby lips. So anytime they come out with a new collection, you know I'm going to pick it up. Now on my nails today is a new um, line by L'Oreal. It came out a while ago, actually, so it's not really new, but it's new to me. I picked up one of them. I absolutely fell in love with it. And then when I went back to get more, they were all gone. So I don't know if maybe they're supposed to be limited edition or what's going on with them. The one that is on my hand today is called Rain of Studs. And then I also picked up another color, which is called Diamond in the Rough. And this one's more of a mauvey lighter purple, which I think is just gorgeous. I will put close-ups of these in the video for you guys. And then this one is an orangey, I like it chunky. It's almost like an orange coppery rust mixed together. It's really gorgeous. And then the last one I picked up is called Pop the Bubbles. And it's obviously supposed to be inspired by like champagne bubbles. It is a really awesome aquamarine color. It's so, so like, ugh. It almost reminds me of like mermaids, which is awesome because I love mermaids. And then the last thing I picked up because Bath and Body Works and Bed Bath & Beyond happened to be right next to Ulta where I live. So I picked up the IT Cosmetics palette. Now, I need another palette like I need a hole in the head. However, I've noticed that I pretty much only ever wear shimmery eyeshadows, which I kind of wanted to like break myself of that habit because you're not supposed to wear shimmery shadows all day long, every day. So I got this one because they are all matte shades. They are so, so gorgeous. I hope the reflection's not like hurting anybody's eyes because this is a super bright packaging. Um, but it comes with a huge mirror on this side, which I'm not going to show you because I don't want to glare anybody. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is that the packaging is like this awkward, fuzzy, like old lady grandma couch type texture. It's super awkward. Like 
I just feel like it would get dirty really, really fast just because it seems like one of those textures that picks up dirt from your hands or wherever you throw it in your makeup bag. So I could do without that. However, the colors inside are so creamy and so buttery and I'm Sunset, which is like a rusty copper orange color, which is gorgeous. And then Sunrise, which is another one that's really pretty. It's like a brownish color. Let me show you on my hand. And so these are Sunrise right here and then Sunset right there. They're gorgeous. I'm actually wearing them both on my eyes today. I am not usually someone who goes for like orange reddish colors, especially for my eyes because I just feel like it never looks right. But I love the way that my makeup turned out today using this. So I would definitely recommend it if you want to go pick up a new palette. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked this video and leave me some comments down below of new videos that you'd like to see coming up. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.